Welcome back. It's now time for your midday sports. Now, Daniel Thomas Dodd in the women's shot put at 12.45 will be the first in action as 14 Jamaicans are down to compete at the Lausanne Diamond League meet today in Switzerland. Also in the field, Lamar Distin will contest the high jump at 104. Fresh off uh, taking silver in the long jump at the Olympics, Wayne Pinnock will once again battle with the man who beat him for the gold, Greece's Miltiadis Tentaglu. Pinnock's countrymen, Taj Gale and Kier McLeod, will also be in the lineup. Newly minted sprint hurdles bronze medalist Rashid Broadbell contest the high hurdles event alongside compatriot and 2021 Olympic champion Hansa Parchment. Olympic finalist Rochelle Clayton is once again joined by her fellow Olympic participants in Geneva Russell and Anjanette Knight in the women's 400 meter hurdles. Tia Clayton, who made the final of the 100 meters at the Olympics, takes on Britain's Dina Asher Smith and Ivory Coast, Arv, that's Marie Jose Talou of the Ivory Coast in the 100 meters. Another Olympic finalist, Akira Nugent, is back in action and joins compatriot and two time world champion Daniel Williams in the sprint hurdles for women. President of the Inter-Secondary School Sports Association, Keith Wellington, took a swipe at the Jamaica Football Federation on Wednesday, accusing the local governing body of not giving ISA the recognition it deserves. In a fiery presentation at the launch of the schoolboy football season, Wellington called on the JFF to recognize the schools of players when they have been called on national duties. In the meantime, Wellington, who ran on the ticket of Raymond Anderson at the last JFF election, also called on the body to do more to support the secondary school sporting body. So I'm asking our partners, the JFF, pay us some credit. Help us, help our competitions to be better. Train more referees so that we don't have to take our kids out of school on a Monday to play a match because we have to be spreading the games over five, six days of the week. Focus on that. Don't focus on the fact that we are saying that we don't want a young man to be playing two or three different competitions at the same time because he's still a student, irrespective of what you may think. The ISA Schoolboy football season, which starts on September 7, will have a triple header to kick off the competition at the Montego Bay Sports Complex in Catherine Hall. Manning Cup champions Mona High take on Waterford at 2 p.m. in their Group B clash. That will be followed by reigning the Costa Cup champions Clarendon College against Denby at 4.30. Many time winners Cornwall College will square off with 1986 and 1988 winners Herbert Morrison at 7 p.m. And a knockout finalist, RGR Glena Communications Group, will, take, will look to continue their good run in the Western Sports Division 1 Business House football competition when they take on National Housing Trust at Winchester Park this afternoon at 4. The RGR Glena team is flying high after making the knockout semifinal at the weekend following their 4-3 win over Kingston Freeport. RGR Glena is currently second on goal difference in Division 1 behind Mackay Security with both teams on 10 points with identical records of three wins, one draw and one defeat from five games. And finally, defending champions Barbados Royals had a winning start to the 2024 Women's Caribbean Premier League after beating the Guyana Amazon Warriors by one wicket with one delivery to spare on Wednesday at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy in Trinidad. Batting first, the Jamaican Stefani Taylor top scored with 38 as the Warriors posted 118 for 9 from their 20 overs. Shemaine Campbell also made 16 while Erin Burns made 15. Another Jamaican, Natasha McLean, made 11. Alia Allen claimed 3 for 21 while there were two other bowlers or three other bowlers with the two wickets each in the run chase. The Royals' innings was built predominantly around Captain Haley Matthews who was left not out in 61. Kiana Joseph, 24, was the only other batter to get more than six runs. Jamaicans Rashada Williams and Chanel Henry made two and four respectively. South African Shubnail Ishmael bagged four for 16 as the Royals reached their target at 119 for nine of 19.5 overs. The Royals will be back in action tonight when they take on the Trinbago Night Riders at six. And that's it for your midday sports report. O'Shane, it's back to you. Thanks, Renardo, and that's the midday news. I'm Shane Masters. Join us at 7 for primetime news. On behalf of the news sports and production teams, have a good afternoon.